friends, in my last video I showed this super fun Fomemo printer that uh, Fomemo graciously sent to me uh, as long as I would be willing to share a video with my subscribers on how this works. So I did that and now I'm going to be sharing another video. So in this video I'm going to share a couple of projects that I've been making with this printer and I will also be announcing the winner of the Fomemo printer giveaway that I have right now. So to see how this really fun printer works, click on the link below in my description so that you can see the previous video. But it is a thermal printer. It just opens up like this and inside we have the roll of white sticker paper. This also comes in gold and clear translucent and different colors. So I have the white in there now and this button turns it on. So just hold it down for a moment and then it turns green and then it's ready to go. And this runs on their free app and I have that on my phone and it's Bluetooth connected. So here are just a few images that I've printed. You want to make sure that you're using copyright free, royalty free uh, images. So a lot of the images that I have here are from Graphic Fairy because um, you can use those which are awesome. But you can find tons of printables that um, that are available to use just by searching on Pinterest or Google image search. So in my last video, uh, I had mentioned that I hadn't tried coloring on these using our Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. Well, I've since tried and they don't work. They will smudge the lines away, but our regular Stampin' Write markers do work. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this one. I'm putting this on my magnetic platform and I've got one of my stitched rectangle dies. So I'm just going to cut this out and this fits perfectly. Now I've got this ready to go onto my project. Now there's a couple of white corners because this was a printable for a tag, but I'm probably gonna cover that up or I might trim off those little corners. So I'll figure that out as I'm creating. So I should show you what I've also done with my Fomemo printer is this is how I store my current dies and I went through and I made labels for every one and then I printed off the dies so I can actually see how many are in the set, what they cost. So once these retire, if I want to sell them in my buy one get one, I've got everything right handy. So and it's just a great reference to have. So uh, it took a little bit of time to do. I did it yesterday morning, but I'm loving it. It's so easy to see my dies. Um, but of course now as I just get a new set, it won't take me any time to do because they're all done and organized and I'm loving it. So this gives you another idea of what you can do with this awesome little printer. Okay. I am going to show you some bookmarks I've been making using these labels and a whole bunch of our stamps and dies and I've been having just so much fun. So I am using quite a few different stamp sets but um, I will list them in the supplies. So this piece of Whisper White measures five and a half by two. I have been using this stamp set so much since I got this. I'm absolutely loving it and I finally have my dies. I was so anxious to get them so I've used them a lot too. So I'm using both the stamps and the coordinating dies for this project. So I'm going to stamp the butterfly first and I'm going to stamp it on the top of this piece of Whisper White. So I'm just inking it really well and I'm going to stamp it on the side in the center. You're thinking, what is she doing, right? Bear with me. This is an idea that I saw on the Graphic Fairy and it was a printable. And uh, I wanted to try it with our stamps and dies instead of printing it off and it worked really, really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp a few butterflies on here. I'm not gonna need them all for this project, but I will have them for future projects, so got that. Now I'm taking my Stampin' Blends. I am using the Daffodil Delight in the light and the dark. So I'm going to start with the dark. And actually this 
bottom wing, we don't need to worry about that one. We're just going to do the top half. And then over here, I'm going to um, color them all the same. And now I'm going in with my light daffodil delight. I am going to cut out all three butterflies. Now I'm going to cut just the top half of this butterfly. I don't want to cut into the bottom wing. So I'm going to put my die on, just like so. And my plate. As soon as I feel it starting to cut, I barely go half a turn. So it didn't cut all the way, which is exactly what I wanted. I just want this wing to come up. I'm going to take my scissors now and I'm going to cut from the side to the center of those antennas. Flip it around and do the same thing. Okay, so that's what I have. Okay, so once I trim that off, I took off about a quarter of an inch. So this measures approximately four and three quarters inches long by two inches wide. So I cut another piece of Whisper White that measures four and five eighths inches by one and seven eighths. So that, this is going to get glued on there and it will hide that body and that little bit where the cut went down a little bit deeper that's okay because that is going to hide it so you can see I already started sponging I'm just sponging on crumb cake ink with one of our stampin sponges I want this to look vintagey and rustic I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece I'm going to bring in these butterflies and I'm sponging right on top of them as well so that is filling in any of the white bits it's adding a bit of color to the wings and of course it's adding color to the edge as well I'm going to be using my Parisian Beauty I'm going to be using this script love this stamp for the background and I am going to you know what I'm gonna use crumb cake for that on the ones that I made earlier, which I will show you in a bit, I used black for this bit. Um, but I'm going to use my crumb cake. The same stamp set. I'm going to stamp the circle image and then the little swirlies. I'll go back and clean my stamps afterwards. So if you're thinking I put all my stamps away dirty, uh, sometimes I do. but. Um, more often than not, usually I uh, do clean them. But to save a little bit of time, I'm just going to put them back in and clean them later. Okay, that is a little bit too big. So I'm actually not going to use that on this. Instead, I'm going to bring in this cute little fairy. Now I could use my dies to cut her, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use my scissors. Peel off that back ink. Look at my fingers, you guys. Oh my goodness, I have so much ink. But that's okay. Part of the fun is our inky fingers. There we go. So I'm just going to put that on the side right there. Turn that off. Okay, now I'm going to put this right on top. Okay, so that's what we have. Now I'm going to start adding some embellishments. So in this um, beautiful clay pottery bowl, I have a bunch of dyes. So I've been using the Nature Thoughts dyes, the Cherry Blossom dyes, the Grace's Garden dyes, and I've just been cutting out um, a bunch of different flowers. And then I've got them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out some leaves I've cut. I find um, repetitive die cutting um, kind of drives me a little bit crazy. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of patience for it. So every now and then I'll just uh, get in the groove and I'll grab some scrap papers and I'll just start cutting away and then I've got them and um, 
it makes me really happy that I can just pull them out of a bowl and use them when I need them or if I'm working on a card or a scrapbook or a different project I have them to play around with to see um, how I want my card layout to end out and it's just it's just a really fun thing to do these are the fences from Grace's garden I thought uh, these would be cute might even be cute on this actually I might do that but I had cut them out for my scrapbook but I'm liking that see this is why it's good to have these pre-cut so let's grab some glue this is a different variation of the bookmarks I've been making and I will show you those uh, as soon as this one's done but my gosh it's a lot of fun and obviously if you don't have the Fomemo printer you wouldn't you could print something off like this on your computer um, the Fomemo printer is awesome because it's super quick and easy uh, I like the fact that it's thermal so I'm not using ink add some of these We're dumping the bowl. <laughs> Throw those back in. And of course, I've got glue on my fingers, so everything's sticking to me. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what I'm looking for is this little guy, but that's an old olive, and I've got a little bit of granny apple green there. So I want to find a different shade of green here. Look, told you I've got glue on my fingers. Here we go. Let's, let's do this one. sure if I'm gonna need greenery up there or not okay so let's add some flowers after I get this glue off my fingers by the way if you need a little trick for taking this uh, glue off your fingers what I do so this is a really old bottle of stays on cleaner but I still have cleaner in it but I put a little bit of that on my fingertips and I just kind of roll it around and the glue just comes right off so for me that works really good all right where were we okay flowers so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold up the flower almost making it into like a little cup and I can see I still have glue right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that right into the glue like so and add a little bit of glue into the center and again fold this one up into like a little tiny cup and push that right on top perfect um i'll do one one here Oh, that's handy. Just push that right on top of the lid. <laughs> and it makes its own little cup. And there's glue in there, so I don't think I need to add any more. So again, just push that down. Oops. So you can see how those are dimensionalized don't know if that's a word but it's a word I'm using today more flowers let's grab some blue that's probably all I need for flowers I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a flower up there or not yet I shall figure that out when I get to it so let's grab one of these extra butterflies and what I'm going to do is bring in my butterfly stamp. So I'm flipping my stamp upside down and I'm just lining it right up on top and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay so now I have my butterfly stamped on the 
reverse side. I'm going to bring in the same two blends, the dark and the light, Daffodil Delight. And my crumb cake. So now I have a piece of basic black cardstock, which is the same um, size as this top layer. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the back of my bookmark. We're going to add some glue behind this butterfly wing. And we've got this butterfly folded up in half. This is the one where we've got both sides stamped. And we are just going to glue these two pieces together. I'm going to hold it there for a moment. So that's how you get your little 3D butterfly. So when it's in your book, you can have that butterfly sitting on top of your pages. So super cool, but I just want to set that aside for a moment to dry. Okay, so I've just made a bow using our white crinkled seam binding and my goodness I've been using this a lot and I've been dyeing it using my marker so I can get it in whatever color I want. It's a great ribbon. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually add some more of this greenery underneath that bow. I'm going to go ahead and use the flirty flamingo flower. So there's a lot of colorful flowers on this tag bookmark. These bookmarks actually, once you get going, they don't take very long to do. And um, they're just, they're so much fun. And honestly, a nice change of pace from making cards all the time. Oh, let's do this little trick again. All right, I'm going to put this here. Just like so. A little dab of glue. That's a big dab of glue. Oops. Oh, you get tucky. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. Put these all back into the bowl. So now I'm bringing in the Grace's Garden stamp set, which coordinates with um, these dies. And I just want one word on here. And so quite often I'll look through all my stamp sets, including my paper pumpkin stamp sets, and I'll pull out words from, you know, a whole sentiment and just use the one word. I use that in my scrapbooks all the time. Like I might want to use just friendship. So it's a great way to get more mileage out of our stamps. But I want to use the word kindness. And I have a piece of uh, scrap basic black. So I'm just bringing in my embossing buddy. I'm just going to stamp the whole thing and emboss it in white. I'm going to snip this out. Alright, so we have the word kindness. Alright, so to finish this, I'm going to add some bling. So I'm going to take uh, some pearls and put them on the little flowers. And some rhinestones for what I think are pretty hollyhocks. And there it is, my finished bookmark. So I just grabbed the closest book that I have handy, which happens to be one of my favorites. But I'm just going to show you when you tuck your bookmark in, you see how you get the that butterfly up on top. It looks so cool. So much fun. So much fun, you guys. So of course you can use a white gel pen or our chalk marker to write on the back, or you can print something off on the back if you were to give that to somebody. But super super fun in our stampin up annual catalog 2019 2020 on page 170 we have our we have our pressed petals journal so i hadn't done anything with this journal until recently and this is what i came up with 
holy fun holy fun that's all I can say so you can see I used the cherry blossom dies and the forever blossoms uh, stamp set I used the um, Parisian beauty for the background I even have texture paste on here I mean this was just fun and this I printed off on the Fomemo printer peaceful mind grateful heart this die here is awesome this is part of the nature nature things dies and I did that on our silver foil paper so there's a lot happening on that so much fun so I've only just started filling this out um, so I'll do some more so I just decorated that with the die cut I already had done up printed this picture off with my cat Forrest snuggling with me on the couch and this journal already has some quotes in it so this one says the secret of having it all is knowing you already do and then I added a quote from Mother Teresa that I like I'm gonna add a lot of quotes that I like in this book as well as just some journaling and a, a button from my stash and some ribbon scraps and designer series paper uh, I did another picture of my dogs Rose and Cooper this is actually last night when I was on the couch watching TV and they were snuggled up to me and Forrest is tucked behind them and then Romeo came along but I was in in my state of bliss because I love it when my animals snuggle with me so I put that in here and added some washi tape now here's another uh, bookmark that I made and this time I put the um, forever blossoms die cut on here this is a picture printed off from the phone memos couple little girls and some ribbon like just so much fun and then on the back I just decorated it like that so that is one of the bookmarks and then I have another bookmark in here this was actually the first bookmark like this that I did with the butterfly so I have been having so much fun with these and then again just started playing around with the book with some more quotes that I like I made a flower using our um, pressed petals washi tape specialty washi tape that was pretty fun and then I just added a perennial essence floral center and again for memo printer I did some stamping uh, more scrap bits of ribbon more die cuts and bling like my goodness I'm really really having a lot of fun with all this so I have one more thing I'm gonna show you that I created recently so this could also be a bookmark let me grab my book back here and just stick that in I mean you could use that for a bookmark but what I'm using it for is decorating my little plants so you can just tuck it right in and then you've got a cute little plant decoration and again that's using the Fomemo printer and our dies from the cherry blossoms um, yeah guys so much fun it says smile today So that's really cute. Oh, and this one, um, I'm going to stick this in this book later. I'm going to use all of these in my book at some point. So you can see all the possibilities that you can use with this Fomemo printer, not to mention all of our amazing stamps and products from Stampin' Up. I had so much fun playing with all my dies and all my stamps and the coloring. Like it's just, it's a refreshing change from making cards, but I love how we can also make our cards to coordinate with these gift items that we could give to somebody special as well. So now let's get on to the winner of the Fomemo printer giveaway. Congratulations to the winner of the Fomemo printer and thank you so much to Fomemo for uh, gifting me with my printer and gifting one of my subscribers with a printer as well. I really appreciate that and I really appreciate everyone who left wonderful comments. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day and happy stamping.